I literally did almost fall out of my chair. I, I was pleased we didn't expect it to, to work. Crystal balls do not exist when it comes to medicine, but machine learning might be the next best thing. AI can really be thought of um, as a prediction tool. And that's, that's essentially what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to make predictions. For two years, researchers in Alberta created a model tracking data already being collected about opioid prescriptions and adverse events. The patients who end up going to emergency departments, who end up getting hospitalized as well as who die. So there's mortality data, um, discharge data. In the end, the model was able to follow trends and with roughly 90% accuracy could predict someone's risk of being hospitalized hospitalized within 30 days of, um, of getting an opioid. The team wants to be clear that their research does not mean opioids should not be used at all. So we know that opioids are high-risk medications. They are necessary and essential medications. Instead, they hope the model is another screening tool that can improve patient care. We know the opioid epidemic affects uh, all sorts of people from all walks of life. This is another decision aid that a clinician can use to take care or to maybe alter the types of medications offered, to maybe look for alternatives. Experts say it's only the beginning when it comes to seeing how technology like this can be leveraged. Researchers say the next phase is to figure out what's needed to implement the tool more widely so doctors can access the model. How that will work exactly is still under evaluation. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.